Well, hello. Uh, meeting again so soon. Uh, I, I wanted to make another video because I have a couple more things to show you and I'm actually really, really excited about them. I did say in the other video, um, I got a chance to get out of the apartment today, which was like, man, it had been, ha it had been a while. Um, I forgot that outside was a thing that wasn't just pictures on my computer. Um, it's just weird to, to, to see people and stuff. Um, I didn't break quarantine or anything like that. I just, you know, did some, you know, porch drop off and pickups. I had a knitting project that I, uh, I was giving to somebody. So she lives all the way in Northeast, which uh, is quite far from me. So um, it was a nice road trip. Um, got, got a little bit of sunlight. And, um, and also while I was out there, I had another friend who lives also in Northeast and she was very kind enough to give me some things from her backyard, which um, I'm really excited to try out. So she made me a little bag. It's, um, it was really cute. She, she drew a little Pikachu on there, Minnie. So, uh, I was, so I'm really excited. So the first thing is this beautiful bag of wild arugula. You can also call that rocket. You can call it whatever you like. The one thing uh, I have heard it called that I, I knew I was going to get into when uh, when I was going to talk about Rocket, the one thing I've heard it called that I'm not okay with uh, is elitist, which I think is like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Um, I don't want to get into politics. Uh, well, I mean, if you know me, you know I do get into politics, but this is about vegetables, right? But I, I do want to say there was a time you may remember when Michelle Obama had a garden, which is something you would think that everybody could agree on. This is a nice thing to do. We have a garden. And because everything has to be politicized, it was like, oh, oh she's growing elitist vegetables, like arugula, who, you know, it grows in dirt. I mean, it's, arugula, it's not like, it's, it's not like hothouse orchids. It's not like fancy. It's not difficult or expensive to grow. You can buy seeds for a dollar and grow them in a McDonald's cup on your windowsill. There's nothing less elitist. Just because it's got a fancy name, you know, or just because it's not something you're used to seeing in the grocery store, I mean, you see it now, but when I was a kid, I, I'd never heard of arugula. I never saw it in a store. That doesn't make it elitist, you know? It just, stop, don't fucking politicize vegetables. The, the, the last thing anybody needs is one more reason not to eat a vegetable, okay? So, I'm gonna settle down now. I'm just saying. This came from somebody's backyard. It just grew there. I don't even think she planted it. It just grew there. What is elitist about that? That is, I don't mm. I feel passionately about vegetables, and I'll leave it at that. But I'm very excited. These look beautiful and lovely and wonderful. And if you haven't had arugula, it's nice and sort of peppery and bitey, which uh, I enjoy. I think I might make a pesto out of this. I, I saw that somebody made, um, an arugula and kale pesto, and I thought that sounded really nice, so I'm gonna try that with these. She also gave me, oh, look at all this mint. This is all mint. It is so fragrant. It is so beautiful. This looks so nice. What am I gonna do with this much mint? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna think of things that I can do with it because this is beautiful and lovely. Um, some of it, I mentioned, I'm going to put together with those peas. Um, some of it, maybe I'll try my hand at drying them. Um, there's a million different things that you can do to preserve herbs and to use them. And this is more than I'm going to be able to use in a couple of days. So I'm going to have to get creative. Okay, so the last thing. This is a big bag of something else that grows in my friend's backyard. Something... I had only heard of a couple of days ago. I didn't name it. Now you look at this leaf and you think, what could this possibly be named? Uh, this is nipplewort. I didn't name it. Apparently uh, it's named for um, the flower buds 
which I looked at the pictures of them. I, if that's what yours looked like, I'm, I'm not judging, but you know, you might want to see somebody. Uh, maybe I just looked at a bad picture, but those did not look like real people nipples. <laughs> I have never eaten these before. They are kind of slightly fuzzy leaves. Um, I'm nervous uh, to try this, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead for it. And you, you, you gotta try things, you know? If this tastes like shit, what do we lose, you know? So. A little bitter, a whole lot bitter. <laughs> Ooh, right at the end, it's hi there. Mm. Oh, you want me to know you're there, don't you? All right. All right. I wouldn't just eat this on its own, I think. As I continue to eat it on its own. Ooh. Bitter things are good for you. So, sometimes you gotta eat things that are a little bit bitter. Mm. These, apparently, you can put them in salads. You can uh, cook them. You know, like the way that you would with any other cooked green, you can do all kinds of fun things with them. Um, I think I heard that the more mature leaves are better cooked. Oh, I can really see why, because that flavor lingers as I put more flavor in my mouth. I mean, I'm not going to waste that last little bit, that's all. Mmm. Assertive. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I'm gonna try them cooked. I'm gonna try them a few different ways. And um, you know, worst comes to worst, I, I I would throw that in my salad because you never know. When you throw it in with other things, you don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna look up some recipes. If I come up with a good one, I will share it with you and let you know. In the meantime, try new things. You know, there's a a world of vegetables out there way beyond what you see in the grocery store. If you get the opportunity to try something you haven't tried before, you never know, you might find something that's your new favorite thing. So anyway, 